Many of you don't know, but I actually own a Ferrari, which you can see on this picture. No, not that Ferrari. I mean this Ferrari. You don't believe that's a Ferrari? Look, they even got the same logo on them. The particles you see flowing inside are boiling stones to reduce the risk of dying. I mean bumping. Now, I should strongly emphasize that this is stupidly dangerous and under no circumstances must you do it. I'm very confident in my lab skills and don't really value my life. Unfortunately, my car had only one horsepower, so I had to upgrade it. Luckily, I'm a chemist which basically gives me godlike abilities. So here is the bromine. It looks kind of beautiful, but just as in the case with women, it can very quickly harm you if you are not careful enough handling it. Yes, as in the case of methyl ketone, very fine crystals formed, which this time were slightly more yellow. Let's try butanol. F*** out the height. At this point, I realized that instead of making TNT this year, I would have to synthesize a pain reliever. The moment the first drop went into the solution, I realized that I certainly had shitted myself. This method can very easily be done on lab scale and that's exactly what I'm gonna be demonstrating today. Even Toretto hasn't think of that. That's because he hasn't studied chemistry. Amazingly, when I put the nitromethane in my car's reservoir, it became lightning fast. This is how it looked before the nitro, and this is after. At this point, I realized that I might have overfilled the flask, but whatever. We are all gonna die one day. My grandma had a headache, and since most of the chemists are immortal, we don't usually keep things like pharmaceuticals in our house. To purify the product, I carried out a recrystallization. Since I had no idea how soluble the compound is, of course, this is because I was too lazy to check. In my country, ethanol is very worship drink, so I didn't want to waste it without a good reason. Because the temperature should never rise above 40 C. If that happens, trinitrate products will form, which I am pretty sure your imagination is great enough to get an idea what would happen. <laughs> Nevertheless, I didn't doubt even for a minute in my decisions and acted like a real professional chemist. I began to pray for the reaction to work. It's of great importance not to add the cyclohexanone before that, because no oxidation is going to occur initially. Instead, the ketone will accumulate in the acid and when the right temperature is reached, 